Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we have a special pandemic edition because uh, you guys are all going to be working at home. So prior to this, uh, prior to this, prior to spring break, we were working on our travel posters in Illustrator. Of course, we don't have access to Illustrator at home, but we do have Inkscape. Now, Inkscape is an open source vector-based program, and it's free, um, and it's fine. It works just fine, and it, it's, it's hideous to look at, as you can see. But what we're going to do today is I thought we would um, go back to that lesson we did in Illustrator where I designed that, uh, that storefront, that hack shop. Right? And I designed that in Illustrator for the, for the flat vector art style. And I thought I'd do the exact same lesson here in Inkscape so you can see the similarities and the differences between the two programs. This will allow you to keep working on your travel poster inside of Inkscape as opposed to Illustrator. Inkscape uh, is very easy to find. You just do a quick, uh, quick web search for Inkscape, download it. Uh, it runs on PC and Mac. You don't even need a, a new computer. Uh, old computers will run just fine on. Um, and uh, kudos to the Inkscape people for putting out this uh, program for free because it's, it's fine. It, it, it does what it needs to do. So uh, here's the Inkscape interface. Uh, to zoom in and out, just hold down control and roll the mouse wheel. Uh, to move around the page, if you hold down the space bar, you can move around here on your artboard. So I'm going to start by making the artboard the same size that I had my previous artboard at, which was 10 by 10. So I'm going to go to File and Document Properties. And let's switch our units of measurement to inches, and let's just make this 10 by 10. Okay? So as you can see now here, our artboard is 10 by 10, just like it was uh, when we were working inside of Illustrator. So let's start off by blocking out our simple shape. So I'm going to go over to the rectangle tool here on the side, and down here at the bottom, uh, you can see all of our color swatches. You can hit the arrow, and there's even more swatches. There's a lot of colors down here. And I'm just going to pick like a ground for my storefront. So I'm going to start by drawing out my storefront here. And I'm not sure if I like that color too much. That's a little bit better in there. Okay, so there we go. We have my storefront here. Now, if I wanted to add a stroke, you can see down here at the bottom left, hopefully you can see in your screen, uh, we have a stroke color there. It's currently set to none. Um, but I could set the stroke color to white, set the stroke color to black, or I could set any custom stroke color uh, if, as I wanted to down here with the color swatches. But I'm going to go back to remove stroke because we're not going to want any stroke for this flat vector style, which is kind of standard for that. Okay, so now that I've got my storefront blocked out, let's start by, let's uh, continue by adding uh, our window here. So I'm going to pick a nice light gray. And let's kind of draw our window in there. And that is a terrible color. Let's click on that. And let's go for something along those lines. That's a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my rectangle tool now. And uh, let's make a door for our store. Excellent. So I go back to the selection tool. I can move it around. I can adjust the door. And that's looking a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to make the glass panels for the door. So I'm going to grab my window here so I know I'm getting the same color. And I'm going to press Control C and then Control V to create a copy of that glass. And then let's shrink it up so it fits a little bit better in here. It's going to want to constantly resize. There we go. So we've got the top glass panel. Let's Control C, Control V, copy that again. Use our arrow keys to nudge it around. And then let's drag that out a little bit bigger so it lines up that bottom line there. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. And now let's create the different colored uh, kick panel there at the bottom. Excellent. Nice kick panel, so let's copy and paste that. Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. Sizing issues here. I just wanted to snap, a little frustrating, but it works. Okay, there we go. So we got our storefront has now kind of begun. Uh, and let's create the big uh, sign front at the top there. So let's go back to my rectangle tool and we'll pick kind of a darker green here. Looks kind of nice, trying to match my spacing all the way around. Excellent. 
And let's zoom in on the door here. Let's use that same green to make our open sign. Okay, so there's our open sign. Now let's go to the text tool. And let's just type open. Back to our selection tool, scale that down, hold down shift, keep the proportions relatively equal. Right there. And let's change that font color to white. Let's just use the arrow keys to kind of center that best way. Excellent. Okay, our store is looking better now. Um, what else do we kind of need to add? Well, let's add the, uh, add the name of our store here. We'll just call it Hats. It's a catchy title. You know what you're getting. All right, Hats looks good. Let's go back to the white font for there. And let's do Hats. Uh, but let's do Hats by Todd. Let's uh, center that there. You know what, that should be a script font. I think that looks a little bit fancier over here. Uh, let's see. So let's select that. And let's change our font to maybe a, uh, oh yeah, that looks good. Make that white. That there, there we go. Do a little more shop at this hat store. Okay, all right, that's looking a little bit better now. Actually, this sizing should be down to there to line up with that door front. Okay, so a nice common line down there at the bottom. And let's create the step leading up to our storefront. So let's go kind of a slightly. Okay, our hat store is looking a bit better. Let's add the sidewalk now. Let's nudge this up because the sidewalk should go slightly behind our store. Now, uh, we have the issue here where our sidewalk is in front of the store. So with our sidewalk selected here, let's go to object and let's uh, lower our object or we can just lower it to the bottom. Okay, let's take this sidewalk, control copy, control paste. Let's copy it down to the bottom of the artboard. Let's make that dark a little bit. Okay, hat store is looking pretty good right now. Uh, let's maybe add a, um, a blue sky in the background. Where's my blue? There's my blues. Above the artboard, let's take that object, lower to bottom, and then let's just create some uh, some graphs here to add uh, add some backing. Now we don't want to lower this one all the way to the bottom because it'll actually uh, put the sky uh, put it behind the sky. So we'll go to object. You'll notice there's just, instead of lower to bottom, it's just a lower. The hot keyboard is page down. So every time I hit page down, as you can see, it starts going behind our layers. Excellent. Okay, our hat store is looking pretty good. Now, if you wanted to put the reflections on the glass, you will remember we used the pen tool. No, this doesn't have a pen tool. Well, actually kind of does, but it's called the Bezier Curve Tool. So I click on that, and let's go to a slightly lighter gray for the reflection in the window. Let's zoom in on the window here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just click and draw just like we did with the pen tool inside of Illustrator. Now, what you're gonna notice is uh, it only has a stroke and a no fill. You can see it down here. So if I take the fill and I give it a fill color, then I go down to the stroke and I right click on it and remove the stroke. Now we got the reflection there in that. It's pretty good. In fact, let's make another one. Okay, looks good. Same thing. Click on it. Click on that. Change the stroke. Over the stroke. Okay, and there we go. We have our hat store that we have made inside of Inkscape to look virtually identical to the hat store we made in Illustrator. It took a little bit longer. Uh, the tool is a little bit more finicky. You don't have all the nice features, quality of life improvements that you do get with Illustrator. However, 
This does show us that we can still do some work at home in inside, inside, of, uh, inside of Inkscape and work on our vector art skills. Um, so you have enough now to kind of get started on your welcome poster, your travel poster that we started before the break, and I will post some more information about that on our teams. Okay, I hope to see you all soon. I uh, kind of miss being in the classroom there with you guys, but uh, hopefully we can get back there uh, sometime in the near future. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you all later. Bye-bye.